This week, we explore Ironbridge. Stick around to hear the history of the iconic landmark and join us for some lunch and charity shopping. See you there. So we're here in Ironbridge and I'm going to tell you a little bit of history. In 1773, architect Thomas Farnells Pritchard suggested building a bridge out of cast iron, the first of its kind in the world. Ideas went back and forth about the cost, span and materials, however in March 1776, the act to build the bridge received royal assent. Construction of the bridge finished in 1779 and the opening of the bridge was in 1781. In the mid-1790s, the bridge became highly profitable and even royalty had to pay to cross. In 1923, a new weight limit of 4 tonnes was imposed, but after the housing boom in the 1930s, the tile distributors were in dispute. The outcome was to close the bridge to all vehicular traffic in 1934. Tolls for pedestrians were collected until 1950, when the ownership transferred to the Shropshire County Council. The tolls collected only marginally covered the cost it took to collect them, and due to the bridge's poor condition, suggestions to sell the bridge as scrap metal and replace the bridge were made, but luckily not carried out. More recently, in January 2017, the English Heritage carried out their biggest ever restoration project that totaled £3.6 million. So I'm standing underneath the Iron Bridge and although I've been here many times, it is still just so fascinating how kind of immense the structure is. I love this place. The construction of the bridge used approximately 384 tonnes of iron and the total estimated cost is around £748,000 in today's money. For those of you that like to use elephants as a measurement, it's approximately 189 elephants in weight. And for the more obscure viewers that like to take things up a notch, a quick Google and I found out an elephant costs around £100,000, so you could get yourself seven of those too. After a morning full of history, we definitely worked up an appetite. Time for some fish and chips. We explored in the local bookshops and charity shops and we found some small surprises. George managed to find a new coat, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And it was eight pounds. So do you want to give us a little twirl? George is looking very smart and chuffed too with his new purchase. We visited one of my childhood favorites, Merry Thought Teddy Bear Shop, one of the oldest manufacturers still around in the UK. So it's time for us to go home. We've done quite a lot in a very short amount of time. We've gone charity shopping, had fish and chips, explored all the local scenery, learned a bit about the history too. And now it's time for us to go and see my folks at home and celebrate my dad's birthday. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other adventures and take care.